All right, I'm doing this video because there's a lot of other videos out there, but they're not exactly for these SC1000s. Um, I just did the lens on this one. I just did the new LCD screen on this one. You can see how it's nice and clear. You see this one here is foggy and weird in there. I'm sure you can see if I get the angle right. And here's the old lens, the LCD lens, and you can see how burnt out it is. So there's no videos out there. I figured I'd do a video. Maybe it'll help somebody out and they don't have to figure it out like I did. And bear with me. All right, so the first thing you gotta do is snap this bezel off, this like chrome bezel right here. Um, what you wanna do is unscrew this white piece off the back, but you know, you probably already have it off. Um, I got my assistant here. Hold it right there. So you're gonna, you'll probably already have this off. This is what the backing plate that holds it in into your dash. So then there's a little rubber gasket. I just take that, get it out of the way, so it's out of your way. All right, and this front top bezel has to come off. I just used my fingers to get the last one off. Um, it came off pretty smooth, which this one's not coming off as easy, but I got a little pry knife here. And that's probably a little bit easier there. And you can use anything like a flathead screwdriver, just be real careful. You don't want to damage the edge, which I'm using a little... Little tiny little like weird flathead. All right, so once you get the bezel off, little bezel. Now you have to snap. You have to get this lens out, and it comes with a new lens, the kit you can order from this place. Actually, that's where I got mine um, online on like Amazon. Comes with a little lens. Comes with the new lens and the new LCD screen. So the new lens has to come out. It's a, it's a thicker material than the old one, which is nice. I don't know. I think it'll help keep the lens from, or I mean, the LCD from degrading. But who knows? So now you gotta pop this thing out. It's got a rubber gasket in there, and it's got these little clips all the way around in, in each one of these little holes. And they're a pain in the butt. If you break break a couple of them, I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't even think it's the end of the world if you break them all, honestly. Um, because when you shove in this lens, it shoves in and has a rubber gasket that holds it in. The other thing is when you snap this bezel back on top of it, the bezel actually holds this lens in place as well. So the clips, I don't think they're that important, um, but I'm still going to be careful. I only broke one on the last one. So I'm going to try to try this smooth as possible. I'm not worried about scratching this or anything because I've got the new lens. So I'm going to work my way around. I'm gonna to try to pop these up. And I'm actually gonna go get the screwdriver I used last time, because that but I gotta go get it. So hold on. Alright, so when you're doing this, if you look, I've already started right here. I broke a couple of them. This is how I did the last one, it worked out pretty well. You go into the side here with a little screwdriver, right here, and you actually just break the little plastic little tabs that are on there. Doesn't matter because they got new plastic little tabs on here. If you see the little notches on here, those little plastic tabs are what I'm breaking off. And those are what lock into the pla the white plastic piece. If you break all the white, if you break the white plastic piece, it's not going to be able to lock in there. If you break this, you've, you've got a new one so you don't have to worry about it. So I'm actually going around and going like this. And that, see how I broke the little tab right there? Again, I'm not that worried about it because it's not the end of the world because the new one has... I'm, I'm sorry, it's not the end of the world because of what I explained earlier. So, I'm just going to pop, pop, you can kind of get in behind it. They all break, all those little plastic, it breaks really easy actually. It's amazing how easy it breaks because of the sun and, and, and it's a thinner plastic than what the new one is. But see now I'm kind of lifting up at it, on it at the same time. You see, and I'm already starting to get it to come up. I'm going to go ahead and, since it's coming up on this side a little bit, I'm just going to switch all the way over to the opposite side and I'm going to break them over here. And you see them go flying and if you look in there it just chips it out. Did you see that okay? It chipped it out of there. Alright, so now chip the next one out. Okay, and it's kind of just, you literally just got to be careful you're not going to break the white part. 
chip it. Oh, I broke that one a little bit, but I'm not that concerned. So just literally chew them up a little bit. Once I got that one chewed up, I'm going to start to lift this a little bit. And actually, I'm going to do it on the one that I broke. Because why not? I don't have all the other clips other than this one. See, now I'm lifting. Okay, now that I've got it started, I can feel it coming up. Okay. I'm actually going to try to pull on it a little bit and see if I can get it to go. It's not ready. So there was another video out there you guys might find where the guy breaks all these off and he says the same thing kind of thing. But that really was like the part that I needed help with was coming up. There. Boom. There got go. it. That's all you wanted to do is get it out of there. Okay. Now there's a rubber gasket in here. And what I figured out was the new lens comes thicker. So the new lens you're going to get. It doesn't come with a rubber gasket, but you don't need this. There's an insert that hold, that sandwiches this together. What you got to do is, I'm just going to use this knife. Use something safe, obviously. Probably don't want to use a knife like this, but let's see if I can keep from cutting myself. You go in between here, and you pry a little bit. And what it does is there's you're separating a piece of plastic from the the inside, from the out from the outside piece, and you just go around. And work your way around until you get all the way around. We'll try not to damage the gasket, which I'm not. Now, see, I separated it, and now this was sandwiched in between the two pieces like this. So this this lens, this outer lens, and then they, they had an inner lens. And what I figured out was the new lens isn't two layers. It's one layer, and you don't need the inner lens because this is thicker. This is thicker and this doesn't fit in here anymore. You see, like the new, it won't fit in there because the new material is way thicker than the old material and you'll notice that. So you don't even need this inner piece that, that you popped out. What you do need though is this gasket. So you gotta pop the gasket off here. It just kind of peels off and it doesn't matter. You don't have to keep any orientation on it. And then once you get that removed, it's gonna be garbage pretty much. So throw that in there. I'm going to put the new gasket on here. I mean the old gasket on here. And it just slips around the edge. Right here. And you just slip it around. And go all the way around. And try not to stretch it. Because if you stretch it when you get to the end, it's too big. There you go. You just kind of pop it on. Alright. Make sure it's flat and smooth. Okay. Now obviously there's fingerprints all over this lens. You're going to want to keep your fingers clean and keep your keep clean the lens before you pop it on obviously but we'll get to that part so i got the new gasket on there i'm gonna set that off to the side and i'm gonna move on to the next step so the next step is i'm gonna remove the and you can see there's a little chunk of plastic from me breaking the pieces so i just got rid of that okay i'm gonna remove this this needle the needle's just pressed on um you just want to line it back up when you press it back on later on but it's just pressed on, so you grab a hold of it with your fingers and pull it straight off. Don't pull, don't wiggle. Make sure you pull straight off because there's a shaft in there that rotates. So you want to just pull that straight off. And then once you get that off, then you're good to go on the back side and you gotta open up this. So to open up this, get that tool over here. What did you do that? You do that right now. You know what size it is? Yeah. There you go. Is it the bigger one or the small one? I need the bigger one. Next one. The big up. one. All right, so these take torque screws. There's little torque screws on the back. And I'm gonna take out these torque screws. There's three of them back here. What I did find funny is that there's no gasket in between this blue piece. There's no gasket in here, which was weird to me. I would think in between the electronics, it is out of the rain because it's under the dash and whatnot, but still, you would think that they would put a, a gasket in there. I mean, geez, it's kind of silly. So, remove the, the blue piece off the back. Set that off to the side with your screws and the needle. You don't need that right now. Now, when I get in here, there's more torques inside here. And they're the small, small torque. You have the small torque? Yeah. Did you put it back? It's yeah. the, that one. This one? Yep. It's a medium one. All right, so there's three torques inside here. There's one, two, three. The first thing you do though, before you actually remove those torques, is you have to unplug the ribbon cable. 
the ribbon cable is tough to unplug. This is probably going to be the hardest part about this old job. Not unplugging it. This one doesn't matter because you can you can damage it all you want. But to unplug the ribbon cable. Just pinch this ribbon cable a little bit and pull straight out like that. It pops straight out. You see? So now I got it out. Ribbon cable's out. Um, now I'm, what I'm going to do is while this is still connected, it's kind of glued in the backpack here. And with the little adhesive, see I'm pulling it, separating it from the adhesive. And I got it loose. It's nice and loose in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove my Torx. And you can just loosen them all up here. These all coming out. There's just three of them in here. Okay, I got them loose. The screws are actually sitting on top of the board. I'm going to dump them out. Put them off to the side there. So there's three screws. Now this is ready to lift out of here. You know, obviously it's a control board. Be careful with it. I lift out the, the board and set that off to the side somewhere. All right, now <clears throat> inside here, there's two thi there's three little buttons and it's for the, it's the buttons that push here. So when you push the button here, it pushes a button on the control board right here. Okay? Those little pieces that are in there aren't secured in there at all and they will fall out. So there, they fell out right in my hand. Okay? They only go in one direction. They go the direction. So pay attention to the or orientation of them. They go that way. You can't flip them over. If you try to flip it over and put it this way, they won't fit. You'll hit it up against the wall. They won't fit in there like this. Well, actually they do. They fit in there, and that is not the right way. Okay? They go this way. That's the orientation that they go in. So, I know which way they go. I'm going to take them out. Set those off to the side as well. All right, now, <clears throat> this is what got me. I was like, how the heck do you get this, this thing in there, out of there, the little uh, decal? And I thought for sure I was going to ruin it. Well, on the other one, it's, it was super simple. It's actually not... <clears throat> secured in there that, at all. It just sits in there. So the LCD screen is right here. If you push on the LCD screen, you can pop the LCD screen out and the back the backer at the same time and just kind of work your way, slowly push on it and work it out a little bit. It is glued in there a little bit, so some may be stuck better than others. But if you notice that little piece of mylar that fell out of there, that goes on the back side of the LCD screen. It's probably important. It probably blocks out light or does something silly. So <clears throat> this goes on the back side when you put everything back in. But for now, <clears throat> I'm gonna set that off to the side as well. What I'm gonna do though is I realized that I gotta peel this off of the off of here carefully so I don't rip this little uh, decal. Okay, so just it's got some adhesive on it a little bit. Just peel it off, be easy with it. Got it off, no problem. All right, so that set that off to the side. Now I got the new LCD screen. Here's the new one. I'm gonna clean it. And clean off the screen that's going towards the, the front. And make sure it's nice and clean. Be careful with these ribbon cables. Those ribbon cables, I, I actually do appliance repair for a living and they you can damage them really easy. So, cleaned it off. Now I'm gonna slip this LCD screen. The green side needs to be towards us. The other side, needs to go towards the inside. So we're gonna put the mylar piece back in. A little piece of mylar in there. Okay, and then this slips through. The ribbon cable slips through the hole. Okay, then the top, <clears throat> you just line it up side to side. Get it lined up side to side and you'll see there's a square that it pushes into here. So push it up and then into the little, into the little square like that. And don't push too hard because you can crack the LCD screen just if, if it ain't going slow down and try it again um, But that one in, went in nice and smooth and it's flat in there the little piece of mylar is behind it And now I'm ready to put my decal back on So make sure I got nothing stuck to it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the decal back in the decal has a notch If you see this little notch right there on the end There's a knot there's a knot a little tab there's a, in the center right there so you can line it up so if you start with that, and I don't know if we can see that. I'm sure we can, right? So you see the little tab right there? You gotta line that, center that up. And once you get that centered up, then you can just slap your decal in there and just push it in a little ways. Make sure it's flush up against the back and tight. 
Now, no, there's nothing really holding that in there. The adhesive is obsolete at this point. Um, now it's kind of snapped in and around the center a little bit too, where the shaft goes. Um, it's in there good. And flush, flat. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off that LCD screen again because the last thing I want is anything inside here when I'm done. All right, so now I, I got that in there. <clears throat> now I know I need to put the board in because I have to put the needle and everything on this side. So I gotta put the board in first. So to put the board in, <clears throat> I'm gonna set this back down again and be light, light, careful with it. Now the, I'm holding this board and this LCD, I mean the, the ribbon cable has to go through the board. Be very careful going through the board, obviously. Again, these things, you can damage them. <clears throat> it's kind of tough because your fingers can't be underneath there at the same time. So the last time I had to kind of just guide it through there with one finger and then once I got it started, I was hitting the money. Need some more light, but there we go. It's starting to go. Alright, so I slid it through and I got guided it through a little bit now that I got it kind of at an angle, but I need it up on top of here. So I'm gonna grab the ribbon cable and I'm gonna swing this up <clears throat> and get it to go around the part there. Uh oh, I forgot something. What'd I forget? The little clear buttons. Look at that. I almost forgot them. So these little clear buttons, if they're not in there, when you push the button, it's not going to push the button on the control board. So there they are. There's that one. All right. I got all the buttons in there. Now I got to try to fish that through there again. Do it the same way where I lean it a little bit. I see it come through. It's coming. There it is. Okay, I gotta get a hold of it. Oh, keep pushing it through. Oh, losing it. Come on. There it is. All right, got it. So now I'm gonna hold it and swing this board back up and line it up. And drop it down and it drops down on these shafts it fits right in there so now it's down now <clears throat> before i even attempt to plug the ribbon gable in i'm gonna get my screws back in there which is going to be these shorties little short tiny ones and get these in there put them on my tool oh wrong size. wait is that the right size yeah that's the right size okay i'm gonna put my screws in Okay, I got three of them to do. <clears throat> Just remember that. Be careful around that ribbon cable, that's all. Keep saying that because I've messed them up in, in the past. For sure. Got my three screws in. Now, this is probably the hardest part I had. Plugging in this ribbon cable, you got to be extremely careful. It needs to plug in. If you angle it like this and you look at the, the slot, you see the little white piece that's underneath? Okay, so like, I'm going to point at something here. Hold that right there. Yeah, hold it right there. So I'm going to point with this. Okay, see the little white piece that's underneath here? There's that little white bar that's under this little black bar that's on top. That little white bar is where this ribbon cable has to be squared up with that and then push straight in. So the hole, you got to flip it over like this, and I'm using my fingers to flip it over, all right, and bend it down a little bit. And when you're bending it down, you don't want to fold it in half. You always want to have a loop in it of some sort. Don't like actually fold it in half. Okay, I got it slipped in there. You see how it's kind of like slipped in a little bit? Okay, it's the end slipped in. If there's a loop in it, I'm not bending it completely in half. If you bend that thing completely in half, it may not work. So now I'm gonna take and I'm gonna use my fingernails actually. And I'm gonna grab the edge where the you'll feel like a little ridge. And I'm gonna push on that ridge to get it to go in. And I'm gonna get it right like this. And I'm, nope, didn't wanna go and I'm pushing pretty hard. So I know that it must not be lined up fully. So I'll back it out a little bit and I'll move it side to side a little bit. 
and then try again. Mm, still nothing. Still don't want to go. So, no, nope, still don't want to go. Okay, so I'm going to try and look, and I'm going to see if I'm lined up properly. Okay, pretty lined up, I think. There we go. Let me try right there. Let me try that. Nope, still don't want to go. So I'm still having a hard time with it, and even though it's, it seems to be lined up. So I'm going to try to move it side to side, so I'm actually wiggling the ribbon cable side to side. Okay. Try again now. And it might be... Still doesn't want to really go. You'll know when it goes. It, it really will go in there good. When you push it in. <clears throat> okay, I think side to side is my problem. I see that I need to come towards me a little bit. So I moved it towards myself. And then, yep, let's try it now. Yep, see, that's what it was. I need to, I, it, all it was was that it doesn't come through the slot here straight. The board isn't perfectly lined up with the hole. So, I had to move the ribbon cable that way a little bit to get it to come in straight. And then once I did, it went right in. So I moved it like that way a little bit to get it to go straight in. Now it's shoved in there now. And then see how I got the loop in it still? That's what you want. There's no fold in it. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and push it all the way in. Make sure it's all the way in there, which I think it is. But I'm using my fingernail. Using any kind of needle nose or anything like that, you might rip that ribbon cable. So you really need to just try to use your fingernails and try to shove it in there like that. And there's a little ridge on that. You'll see, you'll feel the little ridge where the it's thicker and there's a little lip. That's where I'm getting a hold of it at to shove it into that. So now it's shoved in there. I'm confident it's in there straight, which another thing to look at is you want to look at the space from... If you look at the, the space from the black edge right here on this thing to the edge of this thicker piece that I was talking about and make sure that it's the same distance from the black piece to the edge of there black piece to the edge of there that means that the ribbon cable is shoved in square and straight and it's all the way in straight on both sides and it won't go any further I'm using my nail to push on it make sure but it, it won't go any further so it's in there all right so now that we got that in there we actually could put the backing on because we don't need to be in here anymore so we can put this backing on there's three screws for that. Simple. No gasket, which is so crazy. I actually wish I had a gasket to put in there. <clears throat> I wouldn't suggest using a, a drill or anything electric, you know, electric drill of any sort. I'd say use your hand, hand tools because this plastic is, it's like kind of one and done. If you strip this, you snap them off, you tighten them too tight using a drill, you probably end up breaking those tabs in there and the cover won't go on right and you'll be in a mess. All right, so now that I got everything in, I'm gonna test these buttons before I move on. So that one, I can feel that it's working good. I can feel it's working good. Okay, cool, I think that's good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my needle on. The needle is literally, there's no way, there's no, sh even though it looks like it's kind of square in there, when you look down in the hole, it looks square. I looked at that shaft and it doesn't show that it's square. It may be square and I just got lucky, which I think it might be a little bit square. So just kind of set it on lightly and kind of turn it a little bit until you get it right on the zero. Or right where you need, not on the zero, but right on that line where you want it. And then uh, and once you get it there, just push it on. And I wouldn't push it too far. You don't want it to put, like I pushed earlier on the, on the last one and I felt like it hit up against this backer. Put, make sure there's a little gap back there. I think it needs a little room to be able to turn, so you don't want it rubbing on this this um, decal. All right, so I think I got it on there good. Now I'm gonna clean the, the edge over here. I'm gonna make sure I ain't got no fingerprints in here, because this is gonna be the last part, which is putting on the lens. Okay, the lens seems to be clean. I'm actually gonna hold it in the light. I'm not gonna show you that, but I'm gonna hold it up in the light and look. And make sure there's no fingerprints or anything in it, which I don't see anything. It looks clean to me. I'll wipe it off one more time just to make sure. Maybe blowing it. Oh, there is a hair in there. 
Yep, that's why you look. <clears throat> okay, so I got it nice and clean. Okay, now the lens is all clean. It literally, it just snaps in there. The gasket's all on there, all the way around. Nice. Okay, I wouldn't suggest putting anything on the gasket because you don't want anything, you want the gasket to seal. Any kind of liquid or lubricant in between might not give it a good seal. So get it lined up. Once you get it lined up, it's really easy. Just literally push it straight in and you hear it all lock in. And that little creaking sound that you heard was those little plastic tabs going right by their little pins there. And it's in and it's tight and it's square and it feels sealed. Last piece is the bezel. Super easy. Just literally the bezel just goes on, line it up, line up your buttons and just snap it on. Literally just boom. Snap it on square, straight. Boom, it's on. I'm gonna push my buttons, they feel good. Yep. Okay, it's on there. Yep. Last thing, you got your gasket. Don't forget that when you put it back in the boat. Put your gasket on there. Um Make sure you mark if you got if you're doing two gauges. Make sure you mark your harness, which one goes to which. If you're doing um, if you're doing two gauges, make sure you you mark your harness which which harness goes into which gauge, and then also make sure you pay attention to which gauge was on which side, left or right, um, speed or RPM. It sounds silly, but you may not look like I did, and then you got to look back at a picture or a video to figure out well. <laughs> which side the speed was on. I did mark the harness. I just forgot to mark the which side the which gauge is on which side and I couldn't remember. Weird and odd enough. You'd think you look at it all the time you'd realize which side side it was. But that's it. So you got your gasket in there. All right, now all you gotta do is stick them in the boat. And if you look at this old lens L C D screen that we pulled out, both of them they're just damaged from the sun. So I realized the way to prevent that is to cover these gauges up with something. Um, either, you know, make a little cover of some sort or make sure you have a cover on your center console. Or heck, man, you could even just hang like a rag on top of them, to be honest. Um, you know, anything just when they're not in use instead of just sitting in the sun because that's all that is is sun damage. And that's it. So hopefully this helps somebody. Again, the place I ordered mine from was this place. I'll come back and... and uh, show you them installed here in a little bit all right here we are late night installation under the cover and it's they're in there plugged in don't know if you can see them that good but all right let's turn on the key and let's see if they light up look at that move that right out of the way station one battery yep miles per hour Cool, everything's there. And then uh, let's just kind of cycle through it. Trim, fuel, oil, water PSI, all that good stuff. Battery, hours. Awesome. It's where it needs to be. Let's check the other side, they're nice and clear. Does that say fuel used? 68 of air. What that is. Ah, you had it go by during this, didn't you? Yep. Of course, we got a video rolling and. Give it a second. Alright, I think we should be able to hear now that the thing's gone, but. Yeah, look at that. Yep. Everything looks good. They look nice and clear and bright. That awesome. Take the, oh, yeah. Yep. And see, so take the light away now. Turn the light off. There, there's at night. Nice and backlit. Looking killer. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome.